Hello, everybody, and welcome to something I've been trying to do for a long time. Or I, not I've, I've not been trying to do this for a long time, but uh, I've been asked a lot of questions about slider blitzing. So the whole deal with slider blitzing is when you attack, you see the slider blitz. Uh, you see the blitz win chance at the top. Okay, if I slider this all the way to the, to the left. It's 37% when I do it. 182 versus 1. Okay? Now, if I were to move up... If I were to, Sorry. If I were to move up with... One troop more than 1, it's now 89%. Now, let me tell you why it's 89%. Because it's the same thing as a 3v1. Same thing. Okay? Same thing. Now, watch. I'll leave 3 here. And I'll try to use a 3 to attack is an 89%. Same thing as a 3v1. You use two troops to attack, one stays behind. If I were to use one, 31%, 37%, same thing as a 2v1 blitz. All right, that is the whole dealio with slider blitzing. If you were to use three troops, it's the same thing as a 4v1, which is this, which is a 100% chance of win. You win every time. And you're using the least amount of troops you need to hit that one. Okay? So if I hit this one right now, well, I lost the minimum amount of troops I can lose while doing a 3v4v1. v So let's say I leave this here. This is the maximum troops I need to, or sorry, this is the minimum troops I need to do a 100% roll on the one. Okay, so, boom. Now, if I were to do 174 v1, I can lose a lot more troops than just one. So, let's go around the board and see how many troops I can lose, but, or how many times. It doesn't happen very often, but let's see if I can lose more than one. Three troops, all right? You see that? I lost three troops hitting a one in balance blitz, Okay. It's a good example of why you should be using slider at all times. I just lost three extra troops for no reason. If I were to do a 4v1, the maximum amount of troops I can lose is one troop. Because when you are attacking, it takes the percentage of troops you're using and uses that for the amount of troops you can lose. It's just a mechanic in the game. It's weird. We all don't know. We wish it would be fixed. But all you need to use is a 4v1 when doing that. Now, if I were to hit a 2, all you would need is a 6. 6v2 is 100%. If I were to use a 3, if I were hitting a 3, I would need a 7, and so on and so forth. Now, you'd have to slider it down to make sure you get the 100%, but all you need to remember is when attacking something <clears throat> make sure you slider all the way to where it needs to be 100 percent okay so now i see i'm below 100 percent so now i'm going to move it up to where it needs to be 100 percent i'm at 99 at 50 and at 51 it's 100 percent so if i do here the chance i'll lose but if i go to here it's 100 percent now if i use all my troops I could lose more than the maximum amount of troops. The maximum amount of troops here I can lose is 50. But I'm using... That's all I'm using. But if I attack with more than that, I can lose more than 50. Because that's the way it works. It uses... It looks on percentage of your total troops used. That's why we use Slider Blitz. To stop th the more... To stop the potential the potentiality of losing that many troops. So now you've learned how to use the slider blitz. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please look in the uh, or uh, go in the comments below. Leave me a question. I'm sure I'm sure I'll be able to answer it. Um, 
I don't know. This has been something that people have been asking for a long time. And yeah. Slider Blitz, man. As you can see. Boom. Select the proportion of your troops that you wish to participate in the Blitz battle. This can be used useful to limit the damage dealt to your forces if luck goes sore. Exactly. This is important. People never see this tip that is used because Slider Blitz is crucial to your game. You can lose games because of Slider Blitz. Now, the only thing that you need to make sure you are looking at after you Slider Blitz is the fact that if I leave this game and I go to another game, a completely different game, the Slider Blitz that I had that was all the way down here stays there when you're attacking all right so if i if i if i sorry if i hit this like this okay and then i end my turn in this guy's turn and i put this and i go to attack this guy look the slider blitz stays in the same position that it was before I ended my turn. So you need to make sure every single attack you make, you are looking at this slider so that you don't lose your troops. You will lose extra troops because you did not double check that slider. I promise you, you will lose games because you did not check that slider. You need to make sure you're always looking at the slider to so it's at the right angle to to get the precision, okay? Now this over time once you get it down and over and over again, you will you will be using the slider all the time, all right? So that's important to understand. Now, let's say I'm just going to go ahead and 3 3 3 Three, three. Okay, something to understand here is a 6v1 can lose two troops. This is the first step where a where when you're attacking a one that your troop count can lose more than one troop when attacking. So a 4v1 you can lose the maximum of four. A 5v1 you can use a maximum of one. Sorry, a 4v1 maximum you can lose as a one. 5v1 maximum you can use as a 1. But a 6v1, you can lose 2 troops when attacking a 1. I have had it happen in a ranked game before. It scared the bejeebas out of me. I was going frantic. I was sitting there like, bro, am I going to lose this game because I just lost 2 troops to a 1? In balanced blitz? This is why we use slider. Use slider blitz to attack. It will save your game. You, I, I won because of Slider Blitz. I was able to get two kills in round six of the FFA tournament. If it wasn't for Slider Blitz, I could have lost way more troops than I wanted to and not have gotten the kill. Slider Blitz can help you in caps. It it really reduces, it's not guaranteed, but it really reduces the amount of troops lost in caps. People take it for granted, they don't understand it, but caps is the most beneficial area where Slider Blitz is used, and it helps the most. Um, if I were to do an 100v1, or like the higher you go with your, uh, your troop count, the more you're going to lose. It's important to use Slider Blitz I'm not, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. People ask it all the time. And this video is here. So I don't have to say it again. <laughs> You're welcome. Any questions, comments, and concerns, go in the comments below. I got you. All right. This is JJ Bruh signing out. Peace.